this is a PKS 66A. Um, it is a circular saw in French. It's a Siri Circumlayer. In German, it is a Handkreis Handkreis Sache. Yeah. So essentially, what it does is it has a spinning blade. It's similar to how I've used um, the angle grinder before. Angle grinder before, where you attach a blade to it, you hold it, and then it spins. But this is a much larger hutas uh, and it has much bigger blades than that. So yeah, let's get to unboxing. Ha! Customer seal. Shinken. You know. There and it's probably the biggest sized um, soles that I have essentially because uh, I'm trying to take on not necessarily bigger projects but projects with more s cutting to do. So I'm trying to make this a bit myself. Very important manual to read. I've got this 66A, there's apparently two more uh, 66AF and this is a 6-2 um, that are much bigger than that. Um, one thing that I liked about it, this particular model was the dust filter or dust box and because cutting wood makes a lot of wood chip dust and all of that kind of stuff. So everything just sort of falls into that space there and then you can clear that out. Effectiveness, something else, we'll get to that when we work it. This is your parallel guide. Simply if you're cutting something and you sort of want to know how far from, how, how deep you're cutting into it, this goes to about 16 centimeters. So that's if you're cutting something that uh, wide. So this will be space on it. We'll need a flat surface there and it'll be 16 centimeters wide. Um, this I believe looks like a dust port extractor plug what what. Uh, don't think it goes there. Um, I think these yeah so these two go into the same space depending on whether you want to use this or you want to then plug a shop vac here. Um, so from the inside, the only other thing that's left other than that is the circular sort itself. Oh, it is quite um, heavy. Uh, according to this, it probably should weigh about 5, maybe 6 kilos. It should weigh about five, maybe six kilos. I'm not sure. I need to double check that. But essentially, what it is is that. So what it has is the disc. I've got a wood cutting disc there. So these discs are rated by um, the number of teeth on it. Um, it has this. Part here, which is essentially it has this part here, which is essentially to do that, protect the blade when it's spinning if it's not being used. So you're sliding it that way, and as you come in, the piece of wood that you cut in will push that out of the way. So this is just so that you don't chop yourself up. Um, yeah, and with that. So that is all that you find in the box. Um, unfortunately, even though it's green, it does not come with a box, uh, a, a plastic box to save or keep stuff in. But other than that, it is what I expected, a circular saw. Nothing more than that. Um, ish, plugging in, eh? <laughs> Let's see how I put it this. Oh. 
So plug that in there. You would hold it like this. It's got a, uh, what you call it, the difference. You know how the drill, when you click on it, um, how the drill, when you click on it, it locks. This one is unlocked. I mean, it's locked by default. So you cannot press on this to avoid accidental, um, to avoid accidents. So what you have is that you put it on the surface. You then need to click on this before you <laughs> If you don't click on this, you will not be able to, to do that. And that's from a safety perspective. You've got your angle bit here and your depth bit there. So yeah, hopefully I get to use this in a future project. And this is it. This is the... Wow. This is it. This is the Biosh PK. 66A um, circular saw. So, hoping to get to use that in my next project and be on the lookout for that.